about the normalization of relations between Azerbaijan and Armenia. As you know, after the uh, Second Karabakh War has ended uh, in uh, November 2020, um, Azerbaijan uh, has taken the control of the territories, of its territories, which have been under occupation for nearly for 30 years. The scene that we have seen in this area was devastating. All this uh, uh, destructions that have been uh, perpetrated by Armenia during these years. Well, we knew it from photos, but one thing is to see it uh, from the photos or the um, images that we have uh, uh, we've got uh, um, uh, from um, uh, from above is one thing, but second thing is to see the situation with your own eyes. So the devastation was huge. Um, the devastation of everything. Here we speak about the cultural monuments, here we speak about the public buildings, uh, about everything. So, but still, why I'm mentioning it, still after this, Azerbaijan was the side who extended its hand of friendship uh, to Armenia, its hand of peace to Armenia. So, um, because Azerbaijan has always kept saying that the only thing that hampers peace between Azerbaijan and Armenia is the fact of occupation. As the fact of occupation of Azerbaijan's territories have been eliminated as a result of the war, we said that now we are ready to normalize our relations with Armenia. And that is why the president of Azerbaijan was the first one to come up with the idea of peace, signing a comprehensive peace agreement with Armenia. Uh, of course, here the political will of the both sides. It's very important that Azerbaijan has demonstrated that the country has political will by extending, as I said, its hand of friendship to Armenia and plus presenting, uh, coming up with the initiative of peace agreement and plus not only with the initiative, we came up with the founding principles, main principles on which this uh, peace agreement should be built upon. So we have uh, showed that we are serious on normalization of relations. We have already seen uh, the direct contacts uh, between the top leaders uh, of two sides. Recently, uh, first uh, ever direct telephone conversation took place uh, between the ministers of foreign affairs of Azerbaijan and Armenia, even plus a direct meeting recently took place in Tbilisi between the both ministers. The limitation of borders is probably one of the first things that the sides has uh, to start with and the Azerbaijani side created an established commission. Uh, the first meeting of the commission of the both sides took place. So these are all good positive elements that we have uh, observed uh, lately. But unfortunately, one, one thing that uh, we need also to share is um, we don't want to see again the imitation of negotiations because we have seen it throughout during the 30 years. If there would be a concrete, uh, real negotiation from the Armenian side during the 30 years, probably there would not be another war. There would not be a second Karabakh. Unfortunately, from the other side, there have always been this imitation of this process. So now we would like to see not the imitation, but the real, tangible results, concrete results. Because um, if we want at last uh, to have this uh, peace settled in the region, and by the way, we think this is the momentum uh, over the 30 years, this is the real momentum when the peace can be settled in the region. So we, we need to use this momentum. And we invite the Armenian side not to imitate the negotiation process this time, but to come up with a concrete uh, negotiation process. So for this, uh, the Armenian side needs to fully implement uh, the commitments taken uh, on their own. As a result of the war here, I should especially mention the withdrawal of the Armenian uh, military personnel uh, from the Azerbaijani lands. Uh, which is a commitment taken by Armenia uh, with the uh, trilateral statement of November 2020. Uh, here uh, I should mention the participation uh, of Armenian side in the real negotiation on the delimitation process. Another trap which is not less important is opening of all communications in the region. This is very, very important. Azerbaijan from its side is taking concrete measures in all these directions especially uh, mentioning the communication, uh, opening of communications. Uh, the works are being uh, carried out uh, from the Azerbaijani sites to reconstruct the railroads and highways, and all these ways will be reconstructed already by 2023. So we have shown that we are quite serious in normalization. We will be continuing taking the serious measures. The only thing that we would like to see now from Armenian side is such a serious measures and the political will. 
uh, from their side.